present large falls there are on the Hong Kong stock market, which have also, of course, affected HSBC shares quite effectively. Do you th are you worried about this? Oh, well, one doesn't seem like to see the volatility that we've seen today, for example. That seems to be rather excessive. But uh, I'm not in the, in, the, in the position of forecasting what's going to happen to markets. We've seen this turmoil in Southeast Asia. Speculators taking an interest in the Hong Kong currency have uh, turned their attention to Hong Kong. And uh, so you're seeing the result. The Hong Kong government has made it clear that they intend to keep the peg and they've taken all the necessary actions and normal actions to, to achieve that by shoving up interest rates in the marketplace. The market has steadied a bit towards the close in Hong Kong and the shares have gone up a bit here in London since Hong Kong closed. So it's a good time to buy Hong Kong. You know, there were plenty of people around saying buy Hong Kong when the index was over 15,000 and now when it's down uh, between 10 and 11, that's the time they should be buying or some good bargains in Hong Kong. So I remain uh, very confident about the future of Hong Kong. The fundamentals of Hong Kong are sound. 